Okay, so with the Omnis Low, the biggest change from the high top version is obviously the fact that these are a low top. Now in my performance review of the highs, I had mentioned that the ankle security in them was one of my favorite things about them. I think New Balance did just an incredible job really making you feel secure and really locking down your ankle. So with the low top version, you're obviously not going to get that same type of ankle security, but that does not mean that the low top isn't secure at all. The Omnis Low still has a very wide base and the fuel cell foam is very stable. So stability and security is not going to be a problem at all. And just because you're not getting that material wrapped around your ankle, that doesn't mean that the lows aren't supportive. Honestly, you could actually make an argument on both sides here. You could say that having that extra ankle support with the material wrapped around it actually restricts movement and adds more tension. But you could also say that obviously having something wrapped around your ankle protects it more from overpronation and things like that. So, you know, the science behind it is honestly above my pay grade. So to me, it really just comes down to personal preference. So if you are looking at the Omnises and you wish that they were a low top sneaker, the time has finally come because I highly recommend this shoe. It's one of the best low tops that I have played in in a long time. And like I said, stability and security is not going to be a problem. The traction, the fit, the wide base, all of it really works together to, you know, make you feel comfortable out there on the floor. And for my money, the Omnis Low is one of the best low top sneakers that you could buy right now. Now, another thing that I noticed that was a little bit different on the lows was a subtle one, but I felt like the fit was just a little bit different from the high tops. I honestly don't really know why that's the case here. I mean, it could be, you know, looking at them side to side, the low tops do seem a little bit wider than the highs, or it could also be due to the fact that the lows have one less eyelet and just the tension is distributed differently throughout the lacing system. Either way, I thought the narrowness of the Omnises was a lot more tolerable on the low top version. So if you have a wider foot, I would recommend the lows over the high tops. But I also noticed that NewBalance.com has a wide option available on their website. So if you do consider yourself to have a wide foot, I would go with that option as well as going down half a size to compensate for the length. The traction was one of my favorite features with the Omnises and the same could be said here with the lows. Nothing has changed. It's still that straightforward, no mess, full length herringbone pattern that absolutely slays on any court you rock them on, no matter how grimy or dirty it is. So if you've always had problems sticking to your floor, I think the Omnises are going to be your absolutely best and safest option. And I even got to play with these on the black top as well. And I thought the traction held up very well outdoors. So overall, it's just a really killer setup. And for my money, it's the best traction setup on the market today. So if traction is very important to you, the Omnises are definitely not going to let you down. Now, as for the cushioning, again, New Balance uses their fuel cell technology here, which is a very solid full length foam setup that provides a ton of impact protection, stability, and comfort as well as a surprising amount of court feel which is very nice and helps you feel in control at all times as for the materials again nothing has really changed here from the highs it's still that excellent fit weave upper which is a textile material that just feels incredible on foot and provides a snug one-to-one -one fit while the collar area uses a knitted material and is constructed as an inner booty design that again just snaps your foot extremely well and just provides a really comfortable environment for your foot. So overall, the Omnis Lows truly have it all and is really a complete package. And also, in my opinion, it looks pretty darn good on feet as well. So you got visuals, you got performance, you really can't ask for anything better. So there you guys have it. The Omnis Lows are still one of the best basketball sneakers that you could hoop in on the court right now. But the question is, when you're not on the court, what should you be rocking? Well, New Balance sent over some lifestyle sneakers, so let's get straight to it. I have not seen these, so this is a new experience for me. So let's see what we first got. Woo, okay. It looks like we have some nine, nine sevens. I don't have a pair of these. I've always wanted a pair of nine, nine sevens, but this is the S version. I'm gonna assume that stands for sport, but you can never go wrong with a fresh pair of white kicks. You have a little bit of color with that same green and purple magenta color from the Omnises. You have black rounding out the overall sneaker. 
and you have a couple of different materials, you know, playing off of each other as well. And it also has absorb foam technology, which I can vouch is very, very comfortable. So this is going to be one of my daily drivers. It looks like a very comfortable sneaker, but there's one more sneaker we got to talk about. These are, woo. Okay, these are a little bit different than the 997s. These are the 850s. As you can see, these are a lot more colorful than the 997s. It kind of has an old school skate shoe type vibe, which I definitely dig because I used to skate when I was a kid. So these are definitely right up my alley. I'm really digging kind of like the trail shoe vibe as well. In fact, if you kind of look here on the medial side of the midsole, this roll bar TPU piece is in khaki, which I think is very interesting. But overall, a much, much louder design than the 997s. But let me know in the comment section below. You guys are getting an on-foot look at both of these sneakers right now. Which of these two sneakers do you think looks better on feet? And which of them would you rather rock? And as always, guys, if you're interested in any of these sneakers, head over to newbalance.com. I'll put the links where you need to come.